last thing I'd like to talk about for this lesson is how many megapixels do you need when you go to buy a digital camera as I said in my first video it bugs me that they try to sell you on megapixels but they don't explain to you what that means do you need a 10 megapixel camera do you need a 20 megapixel camera what does that mean for you as the consumer when purchasing a digital camera it is easy to become confused with all the different features they offer one feature megapixels can be narrowed down easily by determining how large of an image you wish to create whether your images will be printed or used on the internet. Megapixels are calculated by multiplying the maximum number of pixels a camera can capture horizontally by the maximum number of pixels it can capture vertically. For example, for example <laughs> if an image can capture 1,000 pixels horizontally and 1,200 pixels vertically, we can multiply 1,000 times 1,200 to get 1,200,000 pixels. A megapixel equals 1 million pixels. So if you divide by a million, you'll create the megapixel. So 1,200,000 megapixels divided by a million is 1.2 megapixels. So let's practice calculating how big of a megapixel a camera would be, knowing how many pixels it can capture. You can find the capture size on your digital camera in the the book that you get with it or go on the website. These are actual numbers. I got these off of the, the camera's websites. So how many megapixels is a Nikon Coolpix S9300 camera? If it can capture 4,608 pixels by 3456 pixels. So we're going to multiply 4,608 times 3,456. It should give us something in the millions divide by 1 million and you'll create the megapixel. So when we multiply these two numbers it comes out to 15,925,248 pixels. Or if we divide that by a million or simply change the comma in the millions column to a decimal, the megapixel for this camera would be 15.925248 megapixels. When advertising, a little note here, uh, they would just say it's a 16 megapixel camera, they would round it. Let's practice one more on your own. Give number two a shot, and when you're ready, push play again to see the answer. Okay, so how many megapixels is a Nikon D90 SLR camera if it can capture 4,288 pixels across and 2,848 pixels tall? When you multiply these two values together, you come up with 2,212,224 pixels, or 12.212224. Uh, we are going to round it uh, to 12.21 for our assignments, but for advertising purposes, they would always round up and they would say 12.3. Um, you would say, okay, well, the first example, they just rounded to the next whole number. That's because it was really close. If they were going to round to the closest whole number for this example, they'd have to cut themselves short. They'd have to say it's 12 megapixels, and there's no way that a company would want to undersell themselves. Okay, so let's take this to the next level. If we know how big an image is, or how big an image that we want to create is going to be, we can figure out how many megapixels we need. And this is the part that bugs me when you buy the, meg the megapixel in a store. So if you know that you only ever want to print an image that is 11 inches by 17 inches, you can figure out how many megapixels you need to capture that image. If you only ever want to print 4 by 6 images at home, you don't need a 15 megapixel camera. So for example, if I only ever want to print an image that is 11 inches by 17 inches, I can multiply the width times the resolution of the intended output that I want, so it's print, so the width would be 11, and the resolution in this example would be 300 by the length, which is 17, times the resolution, which is 300. And then if I multiply them together, like we were doing up here, so the first step we're going to cre create, uh, we're going to calculate how many pixels are crossed, and we're going to calculate how many pixels are tall by multiplying the width times the resolution. Once we know the number of pixels, we can multiply them together to figure out how many megapixels are in that image. So for the example, 
We're going to multiply 11 times 300 to create 3,300. Then we're going to multiply 17 times 300 to calculate 5,100 pixels. Once we know that, we can multiply them together to calculate the megapixels. So for this example, an 11 inch by 17 inch image that must be printed at 300 resolution requires a digital camera of 16.83 megapixels to create. For those of you who like formulas, here's the formula that you can write down to put on your cheat sheet for the exam. It is the width times the resolution to calculate the number of pixels across, then the length times the resolution to calculate the number of pixels tall, then multiply pixels times pixels to get the total number of pixels in the entire image. When you divide by a million, you'll calculate the megapixel. So let's do the same example, but this time, let's see how many megapixels we need to capture the same image, but we only ever want to put it on a display device. Maybe it's going to be a screen saver for our computer or something. So an 11 inch image times 72 would be 792 pixels across. 17 times 72 would create an image that is 1,224 pixels tall. When you multiply them together, you come up with 969,408 pixels, which is less than a million. So when you divide by a million, you'll come out with 0.97 which is less than one megapixel. So if you only are ever going to prep images for a computer monitor, it's highly unlikely, but if that's the case, you could get a very, very cheap digital camera and it would be able to capture the number of pixels that you would need.